Uh, first, uh, I want to congratulate my players uh, for uh, for battling for 90 minutes. Uh, we, I uh, think that we started well and played uh, played well for about uh, 60 minutes and, and had a good control of the game. But uh, then uh, the intensity dropped a little bit, and uh, when uh, when that happened, we didn't give up. We just you know we just uh, rolled up the sleeves and said, okay, we just you know, we just have to finish the game. And uh, I like that uh, mindset, and I like the men like like the mentality. The bottom line is, it's the first game of the season, and uh, we wanted to get three points uh, any way possible. And uh, I think I think that we we accomplished that. You said the team. Uh I don't know if they, they did uh, anything necessarily different than what they did before, but uh, it's the uh, first game of the season. I mean, uh, it, it was a short preseason. All I can say, I, I'm just glad that we don't have anything for three weeks, so now we can extend the preseason and, uh, and uh, get ready and hopefully be able to keep the same uh, intensity for uh, 90 minutes. Yeah, uh, it's always a challenge uh, to select the starting eleven uh, when uh, when the the players are working hard, when the when the players are doing well, regardless uh, regardless of when they come, uh, who uh, who is here, who is not. It's a it's a challenge, but it's a good challenge to have, and I'm glad that uh, that uh, they're making it difficult for me. But uh, you know, I always gonna put the the players that I feel will give us the best chance to win the game. Megan Rapinoe is everywhere in the first half and causing a lot of trouble. Is that um, just Rapinoe being Rapinoe or is that a specific focus for coming out in the first half? You know what Rapino can uh, can do, not many players in this world can do, and uh, we we always said that uh, as a team uh, uh, we're gonna adjust uh, and adapt around uh, around uh, Pino, you know, because uh, her creativity is uh, just uh, something that uh, we cannot uh, with, withhold. I mean, uh, I think that uh, some of the things that she can she can do is uh, is good for the team, it's good for uh, for soccer, it's good for the fans, good for everyone. So. You know what? Just go and do it for us. Oh, what is what is Jody Taylor bring to this team? Goals, <laughs> obviously, two one scoring winning goal. Uh, Jody Taylor is a true goal scorer. She she always finds uh, finds a way to put herself in a good goal scoring uh, opportunities. And uh, she scored one, had a few more opportunities, uh, didn't score them, but uh, hopefully. Uh, in the next uh, in the next few weeks, she's gonna uh, she's gonna get uh, more more goals with opportunities like that. Uh, the the spirit tone tonight was pretty brisk and relentless, and I find myself writing Beto's a lot down in my notes. Do you have any comments on your goalkeeping? Uh, I thought Be Beto's uh, Beto's was incredible today, and I actually in the huddle after the game. Uh, I welcome Jody for the goal. You know, congratulate Pino, obviously the whole team. But uh, I point out uh, Betos. I, I thought that uh, she was uh, very good and she helped us uh, stay calm uh, and uh, throughout throughout the whole uh, game. I think she made a couple of, couple of incredible saves. So it's uh, it's good to know that uh, even when things sometimes are not going well for uh, for the field players, there's someone back there to correct all the mistakes. It was really looked like a wide open game. I think there were 42 shots I saw. Um, is that uh, it looked like the team was trying to get the ball forward like as soon as possible all the time? Is that is that how you want to play this season? Uh, I don't know if uh, if there's. Uh I wouldn't say that's how we want to play the season, but if we can get forward, we're going to go forward. And if uh, we cannot, then we're going to we're going to possess and try to try to figure out and figure out a way to to get forward. But uh, bottom line is, you know, there's a goal, and you want to get to it as soon as possible if it, if the team allows you. And if not, then you you start figuring out ways. So with um, Steph Cavani on international duty, you had some choices to make with, uh, with your fullbacks and you. I th I thought that she uh, she helped us a lot with uh, with uh, with our build up, her creativity, and 
connection uh, with Pino was uh, incredible. Obviously, the reason why Pino was as good is because uh, because of Rumi being uh, close to her and uh, finding her when uh, whenever she needed to, she, whenever she needed to get the ball. I thought that uh, the goal that Jody scored, uh, Pino assisted, but the, the ball came from Rumi as well. So, you know, I guess that's Rumi's job <laughs> in the attack, at least in defense. I, you know, she, I, I thought she did a good job in uh, defending well as, as well.